A nightmare neighbor terrorized a wheelchair-bound man by attacking his ring doorbell camera with a hammer and screwdriver. Stephen Groves, 56, was due to appear at Birmingham Magistrates Court on Wednesday but failed to turn up. Instead, he was found guilty of harassment without violence in his absence, Birmingham Live reports. Groves had pleaded guilty to two other charges of harassment in November last year. The victims were care workers, The Sun reported. Police later went to Groves' home in Chardend, Birmingham after a warrant was issued for his arrest. During the trial, Groves was accused of subjecting care worker Dawn Hadley and disabled client Stephen Persaud, 61, to a campaign of harassment. Stephen and his niece Victoria Rashkinskis were left feeling intimidated and scared by his actions, the court heard. Groves is alleged to have played loud music from his house which was making the care worker and Stephen uncomfortable. Groves, who was not in court, had also once locked up Dawn and Stephen, who also has mental health issues, in a communal alleyway and refused to let him out, the court heard, it was also claimed that Groves had repeatedly tried to destroy a ring doorbell that Stephen's niece Victoria, 39, had installed, it was claimed. The camera caught him using pliers to cut wires, which led to him admitting criminal damage before magistrates in August 2021. Just days before his court appearance, he was seen appearing to take a pen to the lens of the ring camera. Groves was handed a conditional discharge after admitting criminal damage. In July, the ring doorbell also picked Groves up trying to rip the bell from the wall with his hands. A week later, he was filmed using a screwdriver to jab at the lens. Groves told police in a voluntary statement to police that he was causing distress to Dawn by playing loud music. Groves was asked, did you cause Dawn alarm or distress? He replied, yes, maybe it was the music. I was being silly. Maybe she feels unsafe because of the music. It could cause alarm and distress. Groves will appear back in court for sentencing in February. Speaking after the court case, Victoria Rashkinskis told Birmingham Live, It has been hell for my uncle. He is a disabled man with Parkinson's disease and he just doesn't need this added stress. It is has also been terrible for the carers who come to his home who are just trying to do their jobs. I just hope he receives the sentence he deserves. We need this to stop as we are all at the end of our tethers.